That is sensational. That is a superb fish dish. Thai fish dish that we eat here all the time. This is how to home cook this. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're going to do a really simple, classic Thai meal. Now, it's not your bog standards, but it is really easy to make and we eat it here all the time in Thailand. Uh, and I'm not just saying that, we eat it pretty regular actually. Now it's fish and Thai celery. Okay, I know it sounds blah, fish and Thai celery. Honestly, it's very easy to make, few ingredients. And if you don't have Thai celery, you know, you can use thin celery stalks from normal celery, but with the celery leaves. It's so simple, let's show you how to do it. Come on. Okay, the ingredients for me, guys, are very easy, actually. I've got a little bit of chili, some garlic, and this is Thai celery. Now, if you look at it, it's known as Chinese celery as well, you know, but this is Thai celery. Now, if you look at it, it's got thin stalks, but it's got the celery leaves. So you can mimic this back in the West or any other country with normal celery. Take the thin stalks with the leaves. All we're going to do with this, guys, we're just going to chop through. Chop through our stems, and then when we get to this leaf end, you know, we just want to take it through nice and gently. You know, we actually want the leaves in this dish. And they are going to wilt. So that's it. That is basically how to prepare the celery. It's so, so easy. But this dish is fantastic. It really is a class Thai dish that most people eat at home they enjoy at home now as far as fish goes guys you can use any white fish or any fish that you desire as long as it's meaty okay now this fish is sea bream or sea bass it's quite a decent chunk of fish as you can see and obviously the flakes go that way so what we need to do is give it a little bit of a a dry in because it's so thick guys what we're going to do we're going to cut that down there okay and that is a really nice chunky piece of fish now what we're going to do then is we're going to cut across there but we're going to cut into half centimeter pieces and put in a bowl so, nice sharp knife, and we want half centimetre slices, like that. So we got some decent pieces of fish there, and we're going to put that fish in this bowl, and then what we're going to do is we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, nothing else. This dish is so simple, guys. There we go. So that's our fish. We're going to put it in our tub. And we're going to hit that with a little bit of salt. Not much more. And a little bit of white pepper. And that's our seasoning. So we'll just give this a gentle, gentle mix. We do not want to break this up and that's our fish done and then all we're going to do then is put our fish in a bowl of tempura flour just enough tempura flour to coat this fish now you could coat up your fish in the flour shake off the flour put to one side We're not making a batter guys, okay? This is like a dry flour on here, on our fish. Now, if you don't have tempura flour, you can use normal flour. Just all purpose flour will do the job. A 
it'll shake off put to one side now this is a fantastic light meal guys and like I say this is one of those family Thai family meals you know which is easy easy to replicate anywhere around the world you know nothing fancy here no hard ingredients celery can be used as normal thin stem celery with the leaves so that's our fish that's our fish ready for frying it's very very easy this guys right we're a little bit of oil in the pan and what we're going to do we're going to actually turn on the heat and we're going to fry the fish and then what we'll do is we'll take the fish out and put it to one side so anything you have, oil's hot enough guys in with the fish nice and gently lay away from you now all we're doing is frying this fish as is there's no batter on there's just flour on okay but it will give us a nice little browning on the outside now I'm not going to overcrowd the pan we'll just quickly fry that in there and then we'll fry a second batch and all we're going to do is put it to one side and then we'll do a stir fry so that's got a nice light browning on there look that is fantastic actually just give them a little minute on this side that fish is cooked perfectly already that fish can come out so let's take our fish out now give it a little shake we want to get some of that oil off there and then what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a tray but we're going to put it split between and not piled on top of each other so they actually stays firm so that's the first batch out again lay away from you we don't want splashing with this hot oil so again just give it a little minute on that side and then we'll flip it it's, it's simple isn't it it's got to be one of the easiest easiest dishes to make this it really is so let's flip our fish oh just look at that okay flame off fish cooked let's get it out now we don't need to go bananas with it you know so take it out put it to one side and then we want to take some of this oil out of here so let's take that out of there okay a little bit of oil in our pan look turn the flame back on let's get this dish made right in with our garlic get our garlic in there now this is Thai garlic but you can use any garlic okay a little whiz round in with our chilies so in with our sugar in with our soy sauce now I'm using seasoning soy sauce in with our oyster sauce in with a little splash of water and let's give this a stir around so that's our sauce in there now it's going to take a little bit of that spice on but it's not really spicy you know quite big chilies these so when we got that thick sauce there we're going to go in with our fish now we want to coat this but we want to be gentle and we want to go straight in with our celery now the celery is going to absorb some of that in there and it's going to wilt 
and we're going to end it with this really nice light sauce on the whole dish. Now I did say it's very easy. This has to be one of the easiest dishes ever. Now of course if you wanted more sauce you would make up more sauce but it doesn't require it not at all that's it guys flame off little shake of white pepper little stir over there and that is our dish made all we need to do now is serve it up there we go guys that is so simple so few ingredients for a fantastic Thai fish dish I mean that is really delicious that is sensational that is a superb fish dish Thai fish dish that we eat here all the time this is how to home cook this now if you like what we're doing guys don't forget smash that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff catch you in the next video